Hey guys, year 11 is a really, really stressful time. A lot of you are in relationships at the moment and you might find those relationships are starting to suffer a little bit. I'm afraid this is just part of year 11. You know, you may be in a relationship with someone for a year or a few months, maybe you're both in year 11, maybe one of you's um, in a different year, but you're about to come into a time in your life where your priorities are shifting a bit. Your priorities are maybe shifting away from going out and seeing your friends or seeing your boyfriend or your girlfriend towards studying. Or maybe your partner, maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend, their priorities are shifting away from seeing you and towards their studying. And I'm afraid I see this a lot. And this isn't, this isn't supposed to be like an advice video, how to cope with it, how to change it. This is just a it happens. I'm sorry that it's hurt you, I'm sorry that it's happened, but it happens quite a lot in year 11. Especially when we get to this point of the year, um, when the exams are looming, the exams are getting a lot closer, um, one person may decide that, you know, they just, they just don't want to spend the time with you anymore, not because they don't feel for you, but because their priorities have changed and you are no longer one of the top priorities, studying is that top priority. And you might not share that priority and that's why it becomes really, really tough. Where your priorities change and they aren't the same as the other person's anymore. And you end up suffering because of it. Um, but the main thing that I know is gonna be so hard to try and remember is that don't let this other person shift in priorities derail your future. That's that's the point of this video. Don't let somebody else breaking up with you, not spending as so much time with you, don't let it upset you so much that you can't, um, you find you can't study, you find you can't focus. Um, these things happen, I'm afraid, it's not gonna be the last time it happens. I know that isn't what you want to hear at the moment. Um, you're not the first person this has happened to, again, you don't want to hear this, but you will be okay. You will survive, I promise you. Um, so, big hugs guys, I'm really sorry that your relationship didn't survive going through GCSEs. I see this happening so, so often. But please, 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 focus on you. Give yourself maybe a little bit of a break, not too long, because we've got GCSEs coming up, I'm afraid. Um, I don't want to say try and get over it because that sounds callous, but just maybe pause a little bit, try and focus on revising. I know you don't want to, I know you really, really don't want to, um, but don't let someone else's actions derail your GCSEs and your future.